I'd like to welcome you all tonight to our, our last dinner that we get to have together <coughs> on our exchange. And I apologize, I'm tying a tie right now. <laughs> our food is going to be out momentarily and we'll do introductions after we eat. So at this time, I'd like to ask Lieutenant Cardinal if he can say our evening's grace. Can we all stand, please? For what we are about to receive, we thank God. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Thank you. And we uh, wish you a merry, uh, good trip home. <laughs> here by around one in the morning. <laughs> I have a captain watching. Uh, captain Stewart, <clears throat> Ms. Trace, Mr. Turner, um, I'd like to thank you all on behalf of 109, everybody else who put in all the work uh, to ensure that we had such a fantastic time, and we truly did. Sitting down tonight uh, with all of you for supper, I reflected on a couple of things. One of the things that I will reflect over various periods of your life, but I'd like you to reflect on tonight are the veterans um, that, as a result, we have this fine facility for the veterans that came back from the wars and also the veterans that didn't. I'd also like you to pause and reflect at some point over the evening on the Canadian troops um, that are serving overseas now. When we sit down and have a meal, in this day and age, and with all the prosperity and plenty we have, I think we forget why or the origins of sitting down together to have a meal. When you're invited to take a meal with somebody, they're sharing what they went out and grew or killed. That sounds kind of gross, but <laughs> that's what they did, and they invited you into their home. And that's what um, you people have done for us. You've invited us into your home in Calgary. Uh, and shared a meal and shared a great time and very much appreciated. <clears throat> I bring greetings from Lieutenant Anker, the commanding officer of my uh, Sea Cadet Corps. She would like to be here but she's great with a child. The doctor said she couldn't fly uh, so she got to stay home and I got to come out and uh, her loss is my gain. I have a background in policing. I was a policeman for 26 years, 26 plus years, and it's never ceased to amaze me every time it happens that one young person can go out, steal a car, and grab half a page of newspaper. And all you people sitting in this room who dedicated yourself to a career progression through the cadet system and do so many wonderful and marvelous things. Uh, and you don't get any media at all. And to me, that sucks. Thank Sitting you. in this room are representatives of the best of Canadian youth. And I'm really proud and really happy uh, to be associated with that. Somebody hit mine. There we go. Ooh. I thought it was a creek out there. Somebody tells me it's the Bow River. <laughs> <laughs> This is to ensure that uh, 604 will never be up that creek without a paddle. <laughs> it's made by the commanding officer, and it just says 604 RCACS, thank you, from 109 RCSCC Alberni. And I'd like to uh, give this to Captain Stewart. And it was earned by the officers from the Corps, by the parents who support the Corps. Uh, boy, you sure seem to get the support. Uh, but most importantly, uh, it's the cadets. 604 Squadron, 
uh, is fantastic. I'll never say anything bad about Air Cadets again. <laughs> you guys are really awesome, uh, and it's been a great pleasure. And thanks so much uh, for looking after us and making us feel uh, part of your great family. Thank you.